Welcome. All right, so what we have here is I have a parallelogram. And again, what we remember what we're doing is we're trying to do angle relationships, right? So how are these two angles going to you know, relate to each other um, when we have two sets of parallel lines? Well, I don't want to focus on two sets of parallel lines. I want to focus on one set of parallel line. So to do that, what I want to do is I want to extend. To do that, what I want to do, I'm going to do. Man, that was a lot coming out of my mouth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to extend these parallel lines. And the reason why I'm going to extend these parallel lines is because I want to cut out the fat, get rid of the excess. What line out there is not either going to help me out? Because remember, all I need for my angle relationship is a set of parallel lines as well as a transversal. So you can see that these two angles are on these set of parallel lines and this transversal. Therefore, I really don't need this line. Even though, yes, it's great, it's a part of my parallelogram, for right now, I'm just trying to solve for x. So I only care about these parallel lines and this transversal. So to identify my angle relationship, the first thing I want to do is determine, are these two angles interior or exterior? And just by writing them in there, hopefully you can obviously see that, all right, both these angles are interior, right? They're inside of the parallel lines. And then the next thing is we look at, all right, what about the relationship on the transversal? Are they on the same side or on opposite sides or alternating? And you can see that they're both to the right of the transversal, so therefore they are on same side interior. So we call them same side interior. Now we need to understand, all right, well, how do same side interior angles relate to each other? Are they supplementary or, do they add, or are they equal in measure? And same side interior angles are supplementary, meaning they add up to 180. So therefore, what I'm going to do is I need to create an equation saying that this angle plus this angle is equal to 180 degrees. So now, to go and solve that, I can combine like terms. So I have 6x plus 108 degrees equals 180. Now, it's a two-step equation. Subtract 108. And I get 6x is equal to 72 degrees. Divide by 6, divide by 6, x equals 12. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, now you can see that the value of my variable 12 by using same side interior angles is going to be 12. Thanks.